This is Niels Han Dynasty coming to you live, fixing to be in the basement, the best place in the world, because that's, that's where I'm at. I'd like you guys to be kind, helpful, and grateful to everyone you come across, because it's beneficial to everybody, including yourself. Get yourself some silver and platinum. Please, if you enjoy this content, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, what this is about is this is a, wow, this is about everything. About if, if this is true, if, if this is true, uh, I see financial gain to be had from it, from having this knowledge, at bare minimum. Uh, it's very, very intriguing as to the end game that Russia has for Ukraine. It's very interesting. The chairman of the Russian Security Council and former president of Russia, Dmitry Medvedev, recently released a future map of Ukraine. Medvedev wrote in his Telegram post, In the mind of the president of Ukraine, damaged by psychotropic substances, this is what the map of his country's bright future will look like. Along with the post, he shared two maps. The first one, which includes Crimea and the two eastern provinces of Donetsk and Luhansk, depicts Ukrainian territories prior to the 2014 Ukraine war. The second map showed how would Ukraine look like if the war ends as for Russia's... Now this is the very interesting part, because Russia is going to give land to Romania, Poland, and... Uh, one other country, I'm not quite sure. And they're, this, this is Ukraine. Russia's going to control all these port cities. Now, if you've uh, subscribed to my channel and watched earlier posts that I've put out in Turkey, which you will find out is going to be bankrupt and Russia will probably take them over as well, there's a secondary canal beside the canal now going from the Black Sea to the Mediterranean that treaties don't allow Russian warships to go through. But if there's a second canal, new treaties have to be written up. And from, from when I started my channel, I've said this and I've said this on many of live streams to other people, treaties. This is all about treaties and changing. That changes everything. If Russia gets this and they will get it, they're going to win. No, no doubt about that. And, and things work out in Russia's favor for Turkey. They're going to have Turkey as well. They're going to finish that second canal. And that's going to make them a world reserve currency. They don't need China, because that's going to give them access to the Mediterranean. China already has access to the Mediterranean. They did the One Belt Road Initiative, which for which they're going bankrupt on. <laughs> By the way, Turkey has one of those deep water ports from the Belt Road Initiative. Russia will probably consume it. Uh, let's get back up to the story. Calculations. Ukraine, as for the map, will be limited to just Kiev Oblast, and Russia will annex East and South Ukraine. To put things into perspective, Ukraine, which is around the size of France right now, will be reduced to the size of Belgium. What came as a surprise right was that Russia doesn't aspire to annex Western territories of This Ukraine. is interesting. If the map is any indication, the three regions in the southwest will be offered to Poland, Hungary, and Romania. Hungary, that was the Seven third one. Seven that Poland would be offered are Lviv, Luins, Ternopil, ivano Frankiv, Rivne, Kaminitsky and Zaykovir. Hungary will be offered Azharad and Romania will be allowed to annex Chernitsi and Vinitsia. Russia's new map of Ukraine is simply a highly lucrative offer to Poland. Poland, which has supported Ukraine like no other country, might get enticed to rethink its Russia policy. That because Ukraine and Poland share a long history of animosity and Warsaw's ties with now, if you want to flip an enemy to a friend, offer him 50% the size of his country for free. That's very enticing. Very enticing indeed. I hope you find this enlightening, uh, entertaining, uh, somewhat knowledgeable. I hope it gets you to uh, investigate and gain knowledge on your own, which I am going to do. And uh, I hope you have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.